the things I do, I better get my head checked for going on camera looking like this. But I was I was out all day. I, I look a mess. Um, I always come home and I throw my hair up in a clippy or a ponytail or something. And I was sitting there. I'm like, girl, we got to do something with you. You look a mess. So I thought, let's dye your hair. We're going to dye me dark brunette. We're going to spray tan and we're going to try to glam this up as much as possible. We may even try to go a little bougie and throw on some magnetic eyelashes. Oh dear, stay tuned. This could be a huge fail. Let's see what I can do. Well, the good news is it couldn't be much worse than this. It can only get better. Let's do it. My hair's looking a little dull, so I thought I'd go in with this. For me, the way I know it's time to dye my hair is when I try to tease my poof and it doesn't tease very well, I need some color. That'll give it some oomph. For those of you that dye your hair, do you have a shirt that you wear every single time you dye your hair? This is mine, you can see color on it. Then I don't need to worry about ruining any other shirt. Got my gloves, developer, and the color. You put the color in here, give it a good shake. Start going like this, you know, separating your hair. Lather up real good, sit, watch the clock for 30 minutes, then rinse, shampoo, condition, and blow dry. This is about to get interesting. It comes with a pre-treat and a deep conditioner. I toss them, I don't even use them. I like to use my own you have product. to do now, it's, it's ready. I just take this off, twist this off, put my gloves on, and let's get started. For my hair, I use this, this big comb, and then I just kind of, I uh, separate my hair, I do um, color here, and then I go over to the next one, I separate that, put the color in, you get the drift. We go section by section until it's all done. Ah, the things we do as women, I'm telling you. I'll see you back once I get all this colored uh, after I've blow dried. Don't I look pretty? Good Lord, I can't believe I'm showing you guys me without makeup. Um, I still need to blow dry my hair and all that, obviously. But I've got to get rid of this white pastiness. And I'm going to go in with Sally Hansen's airbrush legs. I'm going to put it all over my face, my chest, my arms. This stuff is magic. Yes, I know it is supposed to go on your legs. I've never used it on my legs because I don't wear shorts. Not at this weight. So one of these days, but I will wear it on all of this. It makes such a big difference. I did a video like this probably a couple years ago. I don't even remember, but so if you haven't seen that video, don't be shocked. It's, it's fine. And then you just rub it in. It's that simple. So I just did my face and my chest. Now I'm gonna do my arms, but you can see how wide I am. Then you just rub it in. If you have an event to go to, or say you're going to the pool or the beach and you wanna look a little tanner than you really are, this stuff is awesome. It also is a good concealer too, if you know what I mean. I'm a big fan of this stuff. I think it's waterproof too. And I've got the deep glow. I should have done a before and after, but anyway, now I'm just gonna kind of let it dry, blow dry my hair, and then we will get to makeup. I'm telling you, I, when I wear bangs, I feel like I'm 12 or something again. And I get impatient, and the other day I just had had it with my bangs hanging in my face and I just chopped them. So, uh, what to do? 
if you ever uh, color your hair and then like two weeks later you have a few little gray hairs coming in, this is like my favorite product. I'll link it below. You can, it comes in all different colors. Or if you have thinning hair like I do, check this out. You take this, I give it a good shake, and then I just spray it right here. See, then it's less noticeable. Then it makes you feel better about yourself. You know what I mean? I want to tell you, I'm a huge fan of that hair color. Look how shiny it makes your hair. I haven't put any hair product in other than just a little bit of hairspray and what you just saw. But look at the shine. And I haven't even put my shine spray in yet. Usually I'll, I'll flat iron real quick. And then when I'm done, I hit it with my shine spray. Huge fan of that too. I'm gonna get my makeup on because I don't wanna scare you guys any longer. I've never tried these, but we're gonna see if they work. They're Magnetic Eyeliner and Eyelash Kit. Apparently, this liquid liner, you put up here and you do a really good coat, you let it dry, and these are magnetic. This is Magnetic Eyeliner. These are supposed to snap right to your eyelid, no glue required. You guys ready to see if this works? Magnetic liner. For the upper lids to dry, I'm just going to put a little blush on. I'm using my regular uh, liquid eyeliner for down here, not the magnetic on the bottom. I'm just going to spray these out of my way. This is my favorite hairspray on the planet. It smells wonderful. It has a long hold. Hands down, on a scale of one to 10, a 10. Shall we go bougie and big or should we start out small? I always say go big or go home. So let's go for these. So they're literally stuck on here. They just pull right off. I may have to cut these down, I don't know. Oh my gosh, look at that. They're sticking to the mascara.
feel like I want to cut these. So the eyelashes are too long, so she's going to trim it for me. Let's try this again. Did I put it on right? <laughs> so my daughter, it comes with this. I, but I heard that it's sometimes it's easier just to use your fingers. What do you think? It's good. Boji? <laughs> Your eye is stuck, Mom. Oh my gosh, wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It's because you put it, it's because it's stuck to your bottom eyelash, oh. that's why. <laughs> Number two. Okay. Bougie. Is it on there? Mm-hmm. That is crazy. My daughter is informing me that I should put a little black mascara underneath. Just a little. Better? Mm-hmm. Dawn. To make your lips look a little more plumper and more youthful, you're supposed to put a little of this. I'm doing it all wrong, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't know anything about makeup. As you all know, she's saying I look like I have a milk mustache, right? <laughs> so that's how it's done? Yep. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Now, for the lips, I'm just going in with lip liner. <laughs> Then I'm going in with some lip gloss. Right along here, so it creates a cheek one. There. Okay, and then do it over here. bit right there and then on the tip of your bridge all right creates a skinny nose not that you don't have one and then smile right on the edge of your cheek and then on your jawbone smile Well, one important part, the contour of the nose. And then under the nose. All done. And then blend it out with powder. Now that the makeup is done, uh, hair time. This is what I do. I don't use fancy products. I use Garnier Fructose Flat Iron Protector, and I just spray my hair, and then I just take little sections. I just take a little grouping of hair and I tease it. That's it. And I get my hairspray. And 
Now, everybody always asks, asks me how I get my hair so shiny. And thank you guys for saying that. I use this, Garnier Fructis uh, Shine. Brilliant Shine. So you can see my hair's already shiny because I just colored it. I'm telling you, I'm a big fan of that color. And then I just take this and you don't wanna spray real close, spray far away. And I just do a couple squirts. Look at that. And that's how I finish off my hair. And that's how I get the shine. And let's face it, my bangs are a hopeless cost. So I just like to get them out of my face. So I go underneath. Then I kind of pull them off to the side. And that's it. So you see if you're feeling a little white and pasty and you want to look like you've been in the sun, even when you haven't, try the Sally Hansen's airbrush legs. You will not be disappointed. I love that stuff. It's my secret. It's just my little secret. Not anymore. I've had so many of you ask me what products I use. Could I do a beauty tutorial? I'm just, I'm very, very laid back. I don't use expensive products. These are all like drugstore. It's pretty much all drugstore makeup. Like you could get it at Walmart, CVS, any of those places. And um, I ordered a few things on uh, Amazon, but I'll link everything below. And again, I'm just a simple gal. You know, before we go, I want to do a special thank you to all of you for supporting me through my little health journey. And as you know, I've got the other channels. Some of you followed over. Some of you didn't totally understand. But I have this wonderful new friend. Her name is Alicia Tyler. And she does paleo and AIP. She does fabulous recipes. Every recipe I've done of hers has been so good. And so I thought it would take a moment. She's a fairly new YouTuber and you guys will love her. And if you're, even if you're not doing paleo or AIP, she has so many great suggestions. I just love her. She is the real deal. She inspired me so much because she struggled with her weight for many, many years and she got tired of it. She said she had tried all different kinds of diets. And one day she decided to try paleo and boom, all of a sudden the weight started coming off, the inflammation, the bloating. You guys, I could so relate to her as she told her story and it just drew me in. And I'm like, tell me more, tell me more. It was like, like a girlfriend, you know, tell me more. How did you do it? I want to know everything. And I think when you can relate to somebody, it really does draw you in. And so I started following her. I started doing her recipes. Every time she posts a new video, I get so excited. I'm like, oh, what's she making today? Like today, I literally copied one of her dessert bars, her coconut crack bars. I think that's what it was called. Super, super good. It was such a treat. The whole family enjoyed it. I was like, I love this girl. Any of you have been asking, uh, do I have a health update for you? I really don't because I haven't gotten on the scale. Um, so I don't know, but the weight's still falling off, which is good. And joint pain is, so many things are so much better. Joint pain, inflammation, bloating, migraines, all of that is like slim to none. I mean, I still have pain in my knee, because I'm going to have to have knee, knee replacement surgery eventually. So I still have that clicking bone on bone, but oh my gosh, not like it was at Christmas time. I literally thought I was dying. So I can't say enough about this diet. Um, and when you can find friends on YouTube that inspire you, it just makes it all that much easier. And one thing I'd like to say, because I know a lot of you that are on the health channel are over here. One thing I love is that we're all kind of helping each other. And that just means so much to me because, you know, I may come on and say, oh, you know, I made this or whatever. And other people will chime in and say, oh, I made this or, 
you don't talk about their health um, ailments and somebody may say, oh, I have the same thing and this helped me. So it's just a wonderful community. So I really think you're gonna love Alicia Tyler. I'm gonna put a snippet of her channel right here. Please go over, check her out, send her some love. Let's get her, let's get her up to where she can be monetized. It's always hard getting to that place. And I promise you, you're gonna love her. She's so entertaining. She's smart, beautiful. You'll love her. Go check her out. So she said she tried every diet under the sun and then she went keto, she lost a bunch of weight. But what she noticed is every time she ate dairy, she would notice a weight gain on the scale. So she'd pull back on the dairy and then the weight would start to come off. So she went completely paleo and organic and the weight started to drop off. And the good thing about eating paleo is you don't have to count your macros. You, because you're eating such whole clean foods, you don't have to worry about counting calories. And I believe she said at her heaviest, she was 215. Her goal is in the 140 range. She's just about there. She's worked so hard. I'm so proud of her because I know how hard it is. The struggle is real and you guys are gonna love her. She went sugar-free, grain-free, dairy-free. She feels amazing. She looks amazing. Life is good, peeps. Okay, you guys. On Friday's video, I've got a very special video for you. You're not gonna wanna miss it. You're not gonna wanna miss it. It is getting ready for fall 2021. A whole new style for me. It's gonna be one of my most favorite hauls ever. And I hope you'll find that you like it just as much as I do. I've also been working on my Amazon fall 2021 store. It's going to be phenomenal. I, I'm loving it. I'm like, oh, I want, I want this, I want that. I want to shop there. You guys are gonna, I think you'll love it. We're gonna keep the Amazon store top secret a little while longer and then I'll reveal it. All right, sweet friends, the sun is going down. The lighting's getting bad. Check it out though. My husband made dinner. We had a beautiful dinner out here on the, on the front deck. It was wonderful. And sitting under the lights. Bye guys, see you Friday.